Good morning, awake people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Marcus Conti reporting. I have an interesting story for you today. Uh, also, I was on Lift a Veil last night with uh, Nathan Stoltman and uh, George Webb called in. and it was Very interesting. We talked about the Jenny Moore uh, autopsy, uh, the Jenny Moore case. Is it murder? Is it, uh, you know, is it espionage? Is it, you know, so we talked about all, it was just a old out of shape person um, who died. Right? So we talked about that. And we also talked a little bit about uh, Sayoc, uh, the, the Patsy Bomber. Uh, and then George Webb called in and we had a little bit of discussion there too with, you know, Word Salad George. So the link is down below if you want to watch it. It's long. So we were on, we were on for about almost two hours. So talking it out and uh all right so wikileaks <clears throat> i'm reading from the uh, post today it's a hot story so wikileaks there's julian assange right julian assange reportedly indicted by justice department julian assange the hero who dumped podesta's emails into the mind stream so that we could all see the cheating that went on is now being indicted by the Justice Department. So let's see what they had to say. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has been charged under sealed indictment amid accusations that he published American secrets, a report said on Thursday. Let's see who reported it. The indictment against Assange was inadvertently revealed when Assistant U.S. Attorney Kellen S. Dower urged a federal judge to keep confidential the fact that Assange had been charged, according to the Washington Post. <laughs> That's a direct stream from the CIA, right? That's, that's who the Washington Post is. <clears throat> Dyer also told the judge that the charges would be needed to remain sealed until Assange is arrested, the paper said. The revelation comes as special counsel Robert Mueller has probed WikiLeaks' role in publishing emails from the Democratic National Committee and longtime Clinton aide John Podesta. See, what, what comes to mind right away is that, remember when they said when, when Assange dumped the leaks that the DNC wasn't a government agency, remember? Remember when they said that? Oh, no, no, it's a private company, right? The DNC is a private corporation. They can do whatever they want. They can rig elections. They can do whatever they want. Now, all of a sudden, this, it's state secrets, right? See, see how they, they changed it? They're changing the rules of the game to get the guy, right? U.S. intelligence agencies have alleged the emails were hacked by Russian spies and transferred to WikiLeaks. Now, we, we already know so much of it is, 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 is BS. Right? I'm going to tell you what I think about if, if Assange should be arrested and brought to the U.S., what I think will happen. The, role, the Wall Street report, uh, Journal reported early on Thursday that Justice Department officials were preparing to prosecute Assange. A public indictment of Assange is being weighed as a means to trigger his removal from the Ecuadorian embassy. All right, so there's, there's a piece of paper. None of it really is that much more interesting. But, um, see, if Assange is, is, is brought to U.S. soil, this is interesting because then we get discovery, right? We get to see Assange in his own words under oath Tell us where, the, where, the, where that shit came from. Uh, where would you get the leak? Was it Seth Rich? Was it uh, somebody else? <clears throat> One of those other names in the, in the mix? Uh, Eric Braverman or any of those other uh, DNC employees? Was it <clears throat> something to do with the leaks inside Congress with Imran Awan and that, that whole... IT scam with Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Where'd you get the info, Julian? Right? It could be interesting, and that could be that could be something there, right? It could be something there, and it could also be Assange's way to free himself to have a a trial or a, a hearing uh, in a public forum. So that, that's all I'll say about it right now. It's interesting. Uh, the Washington Post is reporting it, so I don't know how accurate it is. You know, how do we believe them anymore? I mean, it's fake news, right? And John Podesta happens to work for the 
Washington Post. He's a, he's a contributing editor, writer for the Washington Post. And he's, you talk about conflict of interest, he's reporting that the guy who allegedly stole his emails or was working with a Russian agent, you know, and, and the story gets thicker and thicker, now is accusing Assange of stealing American secrets, right? Right? The, the, the guy who, who got caught cheating is now accusing the guy who exposed the cheating for revealing American secrets. Crazy, right? My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Watch the, uh, check the link out below and um, go over to, uh, uh, to, to Lift the Veil and watch that. It's a good interview. Thank you. Marcus Conti reporting.